What if the body's immune system could tell you whether cancer treatment is successful? What if you could learn from the immune system whether mutant cells are present and in the early stages of spreading? Deciphering the body's immune system is at the core of adaptive biotechnology's mission, and its immense potential has made adaptive biotechnologies one of Washington's most exciting life science companies. Founded by researchers at the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center, Adaptive Biotechnologies makes its headquarters in South Lake Union. Chad Robbins is one of the founders and CEO. Well, this field is really exploding, especially in relation to immune oncology or immunotherapy, which is really harnessing the body's own immune system to be able to fight cancer. This is one of the last frontiers or systems of human biology uh, to be unlocked, and we've done that. Uh, we were the pioneer, and now we're the leader in, in a field called immunosequencing. Um, if you think about it, I like to say it's like an x-ray for your immune system. Now this allows us to first understand what is healthy and normal, but also we can diagnose disease, we can look at how patients are responding uh, to different therapies, uh, and then kind of the longer term vision, you should be able to walk into a doctor's office in 10 to 15 years and, and this database of immunological memory that we've learned how to read uh, should be extremely powerful so that you should be, be able to get an immune status checkup, just like you go in and get a, a cholesterol tested uh, every year. It's said there are really only two kinds of businesses, miners looking for gold and purveyors selling pickaxes and shovels to the miners. So which one is adaptive biotechnologies? At our core and the fundamental technology is an infrastructure that allows anyone looking at the immune system or analyzing the immune system to be able to use our suite of tools to do that in a much more accurate and more sensitive way. So in a sense, we're the pickaxe to the gold rush or the, or the routers to the internet. Separately, we use our own shovels and pickaxes uh, and, and tools to discover gold. And so we've done that in the case of um, our product called Clonoseq for monitoring minimal residual disease and blood cancer. Uh, we're developing a product called Tilseq to analyze the tumor microenvironment uh, in, in solid tumors. Uh, now we're becoming a discovery partner where we're um, creating a, a more elegant humanized T cell receptor uh, that can be used for adaptive cell therapy. So in a sense, we do do both. Um, I see in five years that we will have created this massive database and learn so much about the immune receptor that we'll be able to continue to inform patient care in ways that we don't even know about right now. Um, but in a sense, we'll be mining this database for future applications, for future gold, if you will, um, that will have a meaningful impact on how, how patients are treated in multiple therapeutic areas. The amount of funds Adaptive has raised to boost its research and commercial efforts has been described as eye-popping. Its popularity among investors is one of the many indications that Adaptive's future is as exciting as the science on which it is based. For WBBA-TV, I'm Alex Fryer.